Welcome back to Let's Play Panzer General in Belarusia. It's Allied Turn 9. It's July the 16th, 1944. There are 15 turns remaining of the scenario. Um, we have, as the Allies have, uh, the Soviets have run into uh, uh, the armoured reserve of the Germans, I guess. And also it looks like the Luftwaffe is back in business and it's time to see what the armoured reserve of the Germans can do now. That they're basically there is no line for them to, to bolster anymore because essentially um, The main line of the Germans, uh, the uh, army group center itself, is has completely been obliterated now. Which historically is more or less what happened. I think the uh, army group was uh, sent to the German force at, at around Vitebsk was destroyed, and the Allied offensive did eventually run into. Armoured reinforcements from the, from the Germans, but there wasn't really anyone who could hold the line, so they, 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 they were kind of isolated. Let's see, uh, there's this T-34 in here. Tell you what, can you move you? It's a leader, just so he can't reinforce that city. It's time to see what the German Armoured Reserve can do. Are they going to go? Alright, first the Luftwaffe attacking our Yak-9 fighters. We got extremely lucky here. The Soviet fighters shot first, and the Fokker Wolves are down to just 20% of their force attacking the Yak-9s. Wow. That's almost too good to be true. Alright, and here the Tigers are attacking the medium Soviet tanks. The supporting artillery, however, takes a certain toll on the Tigers before they get to the tanks. Oh, wow! This was a, not a very effective attack by the Germans. Didn't take big losses either. Okay, here the Panther tanks are attacking. And there is no artillery to protect this tank, which takes much heavier casualties. Oh, there are still a few KV-85 tanks trustily firing back and they did manage to score one hit against those panthers and so it is turn 10 only 14 turns remaining we have a long way to go yet we've only taken two of our objectives the oh, one two three four five essentially six objectives left we've only taken two although we are very close to Minsk I think it's time to bombard this infantry with artillery perhaps even more artillery I'm not absolutely sure about that one yeah let's use the artillery we've got and try to smash this German infantry trying to hold on to Minsk. That's it, it's almost completely wiped out now. Do I send these guys forward? That's risky business with a Tiger II right there. But I do have a plan now. pushing forward if we're going to get all the way to Warsaw in time. That would be better than the historical outcome of this battle, but or at least different, but more on that later. Uh, right. Partisans there. Party 
his hands there. And Soviet infantry here as well. They've got ammo left. Let's use this Soviet infantry, hopefully, to do away with defenders at Minsk. Well, they got the first shot. But that's it, there is no garrison in Minsk at Minsk anymore. And the Soviet infantry is going to move in to Minsk. Now, let's see, the Panthers, German Panthers were able to attack very effectively, but they may have, it is possible they have made a slight miscalculation. I, I suppose what they were trying to do was break out and away, get back perhaps. Or just cripple some of our tanks, but we have so many of these KV-85 tanks. Um, have, there's just p through pure shade weight of numbers, um, I just sort of disregard a little bit. I can afford to be a little bit wasteful with those medium Soviet tanks. Now, these Panther tanks. May have they, they have no air support because the Luftwaffe didn't actually move in to support the tanks. They just moved in to attack uh, the Soviet air force, which means we'll be allowed to bomb these Panthers. They get to shoot first, though. Now let's see. Come on, Sturmoviks! All right, that's as good as could be expected. Definitely. This panther is now seriously weakened. It's down to 60% of its full strength. And what's more, it's moved into the forests where its superior initiative is not quite the boon and the superior advantage that it otherwise is. We're still not going to deal much damage to it with an ordinary uh, T-34 tank. But we did send these IS-2 tanks south, didn't we? Let's see, now with luck... No, we got a rugged defense. Oh, well, that's bad. Our IS-2s are going to get slaughtered. Panther tanks are a nuisance force though, so I'm going to use these IS-2s and keep pressing my attacks. This time we've got simultaneous fire, which means a full strength of 10 against the Panther. Yeah, no more Panther Germans, because in the forests, the lower initiative of the IS-2 is not as much of a hindrance as in the open. Now, there only remains this terrifying Tiger II tank. Going to try and bomb it, even though that's probably not going to be terribly effective. On the contrary, they shot down 20% of the bombing Sturmoviks. So that didn't work very well. I guess... If I had any, bra had any brains, I'd stop that now, but I guess... Just don't, because I'm going to try again, I just can't decide which bomber to use, I think. Oh, what the heck, I'll use this one. 
feeling slightly weak and stunned my week. Alright, all the bombers got through at least. Wow, fantastic. They hit the tiger for two. That's way better than expected. But possibly even more importantly, the tiger has now wasted two, or well, not quite wasted, it did shoot down two of those German weeks, but it's spent two of its rounds of ammo. It's down to three ammo now. Still a very tough tank. Our IS-2s can are expected to hit it with two, and that's about it. Same with our anti-tanks. I have a bit of a plan though, I'm gonna press some fairly suicidal attacks against it with troops that I can afford to lose, like this KV-85, which was complete, its attack was completely broken up. These partisans, and they're low on ammo and everything. Let's use these, actually. Even less strength. Another suicidal attack. Yeah, four of the partisans actually got through now, throwing grenades, I guess, at the Tiger 2 tanks. And amazingly actually were able to even hit. So the Tiger 2 is now reduced to 60% strength and it's down to its very last round of ammunition. Attack it with an anti-attack gun. You know what, no. I'm gonna let the anti-tanks roll forward. Nah. Nah, I'll attack. Tigers shoot first, and they inflict losses, but half of the anti-tanks got through, and blasted two more of the Tiger tanks, and they're now down to four strength and zero ammo, which is obviously very bad news for them. And possibly even a KV-85 now. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, no. It's not expected to do any damage at all to it. Even though it, the Tiger is completely out of ammo, it can't shoot back. Okay, they were able to... A full overstrength unit of KVAs if I was able to kill one Tiger 2 tank. Let's see what an IS-2 can do, though, against a Tiger that's completely out of ammunition. It's more like it. Yes, finally. Now we just need to move some unit in to actually take the airfield. This unit has been badly battered, and so it's probably okay to pull it back. There we go. And that was the end of the German armor trying to defend Minsk at the very least. Um, let's press this infantry forward towards uh, Baranovici. Take the airfield there using a tank, which means uh, the anti tank will probably not be so stupid as to attack. We use this 
Yak 7B. To weaken it more. Now, I think it's more important. This fucking wolf has been hurt. Where can it go? It can't fly up here because we've taken that airfield. It can't fly down there because we've taken that airfield and the Minsk airfield. It's gonna have to fly there. And we can't really get it there. Could attempt. Okay, this is a bold gamble. But I'm going to try it. to use my Yak 7B. Oh, we're even losing more fighters, just weakening this anti-tank unit. Or it's entrenchment at least. And then I'm going to... This could go terribly. I'm going to fly into that airfield. It's empty. Excellent. You can always fly up there to refuel later on. Actually, no, that's kind of stupid. It's not going to work, is it? If I fly there... He'll know I'm there. I can't set him up like that. We're able to trap those by moving in ground units, but we can't really do that this time. Decide which of the southern or northern group. Oh, there's lots of infantry down there. Maybe you can get move north instead. Well, there is already a good deal of infantry there too. But I will need it. You move forward. And as for this fucker wolf. good fighters that can try and deal with it. We've got some Yuck 9s. Yeah, we'll try. It's a very, very even losses are expected, but of course it can go either way. Oh, we did get simultaneous fire. We got lucky got lucky again actually. So this guy I think is going to try and finish up this fucker wolf and then probably <coughs> fly away. Yep, it worked. Now you just need to be able to fly somewhere where you can take replacements which would work in there for example. And considering we have anti-aircraft units here, I should probably send these anti-aircraft units south. To press forward with our forward units, or to try and get rid of that artillery. I don't think he's really going to reinforce that city. I think one of the few things that the T3443 is actually good at is attacking artillery in the open. Although it is slightly drenched. Gonna shoot back though. But they're not gonna get away. Alright. You're low on fuel as well.
use this KVA to 85 to at least secure, make sure. Nah, they can't really do that. Might as well use this IS-2 and try and maybe get them across the river next turn and then you move up there and get rid of that artillery. We Hopefully the Germans haven't been smart enough to build a defence line here along the Nyeman River. If they have, it's going to be... might get tough to punch through. Can't really move in there um, because the storm gushits would wipe you out in the open. But we can move you in there. We can move in the Soviet infantry. It's a little bit exposed if he decides to leave the city and attack there, but I don't think he'll willing to sacrifice an ent his entrenchment. If he, if he does, then that's not actually a very great idea. And these ISUs, yeah, bring them forward. Bring the artillery forward. And essentially, we're going to try and bring just about everything forward as much as we can to press on. This is no, it's not close enough to actually attack annoyingly. We couldn't get any further than that anyway. Uh, I think this damaged infantry unit could maybe move into Polstovy and try and hold on to that. While well, the bridge engineers and the tanks press forward as fast as possible. Right, this one can get a little further, which means you can get a little further as well. We've got the prestige now. I don't think this is really under threat from anywhere, but just to avoid something odd happening, I'm going to give you some replacements. Pressing our units forward. Essentially, now I think we've mowed down most of the resistance uh, the Germans have been able to put up. The thing I'm most worried about is, yeah, them being able to set up the defense along the Niemen River and then along the Nado or perhaps the Bug rivers. That's going to be the sort of the, the last things that the Germans. Could do. They're definitely mounting a defense probably at the victory objectives of Sovalki and Volkovisk. And probably eventually at least at Brest. So it's important that we try and get there as soon as possible before they can really build up their forces too much. Um, let's see, we've spotted as far as here. Probably take resupply a little bit and stuff. And all the others are showing up behind you, so given how low you're on fuel and ammo, I think maybe we'll overstrength you a little bit because that'll also fuel and supply and ammo you up. Yes, and the partisans. Um, Now why not bring them back up to full ammo and over strength. And the infantry well could march it forward toward Baranovici or keep it even closer to the forefront of the army and, and But that's well if something were to come out of here and attack, that would not be good. You're running low on 
fuel as well. I might as well refuel you. And then we're gonna march. you in there actually. That's what we're going to do. You're in position to either attack Baranovici or simply move forward. And I think that's just about it. I think we've also got time... Oh, oh that's not true. I've completely forgotten to move my air units. Definitely need an escort. You could probably do a bit of a reconnaissance mission. For example, you'll get an overview of what kind of armies he has around Volkovisk. Alright, so far, a Sturmgeschütz anti-tank and an artillery unit. And that's about it. Okay. I think we're simply going to leapfrog these bombers sort of forward to the next airfield. Oh yeah, and then there's this fighter, which is a little bit low on fuel. Um, If this guy moves out to take that airfield away from us, then you wouldn't be able to refuel there. But if it does that, he'll leave the security of his trenches. That might be worth it. You just refuel somewhere else. So, yeah, I think if I'm trying to keep this into about half an hour episode. We'll probably get to see what the axes are doing. Alright. He's using at his stronger shoots and attack to attack this T-34, which means the T-34 gets the first shot, but which was extremely ineffective. That's bad. And they are now pulling out of there. But he didn't purchase any replacements, any uh, reinforcements around that, which means we've got time. We've got it. Still attack this on this turn, uh, but that's going to be for the next video. So, until then.